You're listening to the Situation Today podcast with Golf Business. If you'd like to learn more about the latest business stories in the GCC region, please visit www.golfbusiness.com. You're listening to the Situation Today podcast with Gareth Hansel, the group editor of Golf Business. And with me, I have a very interesting guest today. It's Michelle Zatlin, who is the co founder, president, and COO of Cloudflare. Michelle, you're at Leap 2024. Can you tell us why you're here? Yes, yeah. Hi, everyone. So happy to be here. I'm at Leap, which is taking place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and it's a, a big tech technology conference and it's very large and so it's been great to be here uh, meeting with customers in the region our team in the region where there's just so much innovation and digital transformation happening so it's really great to be on the ground excellent and just in terms of Cloudflare's operations in this part of the world can you give us some insights into that absolutely well it, you know Cloudflare one of the things I love about my job is it's a global company so I get to work with uh, customers all over the all over the world, including across the Middle East, and so Cloudflare has been investing uh, in the Middle East for the last eight years. We have uh, 18 points of presence across the region, and then uh, a couple of years ago, we started to invest by putting people here in the Middle East, where we can service our customers more closely. And so we have both a lot of customers in the region, making sure that the internet's faster, safer, and more reliable for any visitor across the Middle East as well as people here to make sure that we can connect with our customers and help them with any needs they have on the digital front. So it's been a really great um, uh, part of the world for us, and we're proud to be a company in this part of the world. And in terms of your, your presence here, are you looking to expand that in any way? Saudi Arabia at the moment is one of those markets that's clearly taking off. Are you looking to perhaps build more infrastructure out here, potentially? Uh, yes, 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 and yes. So um, uh, absolutely, Saudi Arabia is taking off, but so is the UAE, and the whole region is really growing. You know, what's interesting is um, you just think about how much we all use the internet in our daily lives. And I have a really interesting data point that in uh, just last quarter, in the last half, last quarter of 2023, so in Q4, internet usage across the Middle East was up 25% compared to a year ago, which compare that to the rest of the world at about 4%. So people in this region are spending more time online, and that's both in their personal lives, but at work. And so given what Cloudflare does, we help make businesses be protected from cyber attacks, performance reliability, we are at the center of those conversations. And so because we can see that everything is becoming more digital here in the region, we are absolutely investing with both people being here so we can help those customers closer in the same time zone, same language, same cultural norms, but also on the also on the infrastructure side so that everyone in the region has the best experience with the internet possible. And Michelle, that, that figure of 25% is a really interesting one. What's, what is driving that? Well, I, I, you know, just being here uh, on the ground, you, you read about things that, uh, uh, because of publications like yourself, but it's super interesting being on the ground. I think there's just a huge, uh, businesses are saying, hey, we have to be modern. How can we be modern? And so they are making decisions to be more modern, which rely, which includes becoming a more digital native company, where they're saying, okay, we have to do things in a more cloud-based way, cloud-flourished way, more digital way. So you hear words like digital transformation, network transformations, uh, digital savvy, all those sorts of things just equates to services available online, which means people use the internet more because they're using those services online. And so I think it's really businesses services are now digitally enabled and the consumer demand is there. People want that. They want the convenience of ordering their food on their app and not always having to go to the grocery store. We still want the grocery stores, but we also want this convenience element to it. And at the same time, employees can now work from lots of locations and they have to can do their jobs from lots of locations. And so it's both those combinations of businesses becoming more digitally savvy, um, digitally enabled. I think that's why you see people then consuming those services and that's why you get reflected in the 25% more usage online. 
And I think a lot of people who are listening to this would have probably encountered one of those Cloudflare messages on a website, just checking the, the security of where they're from and so on. Is the internet a safer place today because of companies like Cloudflare? I think so, and you know that's one of the things I'm really proud of. So Cloudflare's mission is to help build a better internet, and what does a better, better internet mean? To us, it means one that's more safe, one that's faster, one that's more reliable, and one that has more privacy built in. And I think that we really help our customers achieve that. And so yesterday, it's kind of an interesting statistic, um, on average, we stopped 170 billion cyber attacks on behalf of the internet yesterday. And that's just uh, malicious traffic trying to go to our customer sites that we know and our services stop in real time so that our customers can then go spend time building products and services for their consumers. And that's something that I'm really, really proud of. And so uh, our whole team wakes up every single day saying, hey, how do we help build a better internet? And, and I, I do think the internet's a safer place because Cloudflare exists. And just as a final question, I'd love to get your thoughts on LEAP 2024. It seems like this event has just got bigger and bigger. It's only in its third year. Do you think that you'll be coming back here in future? Yeah, well, I, well, this is my first time at LEAP, and I my, my impression is that it's leaping forward very quickly. Uh, it is, for those of, for those listeners who haven't didn't come to LEAP, it's huge. There's many halls, there's a lot of people, what I like to describe as a convening event. Uh, lots of people across the region here because there's just a lot of business and relationships being built. And so I've been really impressed by the caliber of the attendees, the caliber of the content. Um, I just think even at the Cloudflare booth, uh, we just have, a, have had so many active conversations with companies trying to understand, hey, what's the best way to build cybersecurity? What's the best way to do reliability? What's the best way to scale my business today? And again, Cloudflare is part of that. So it's been it's great. So I'm, I'm quite impressed and, and I'm quite impressed by Riyadh too. So it's been a great experience. Michelle Zatlin, it's been an absolute pleasure having you today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You're listening to the Situation Today podcast with Golf Business. If you'd like to learn more about the latest business stories in the GCC region, please visit www.golfbusiness.com.